The question that I would often field from any LP in the VC space is particularly the Bitcoin VC space is, right, if I'm making 40% a year in Bitcoin, why in the world would I invest money if you can't outperform Bitcoin? And for me, the, the answer is pretty straightforward. It's first of all, you have to be investing in a space that is dematerializing something very large and, and substantial. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you an example outside of Bitcoin. You could make the argument that biotech or whatever in, in the health industry is going to dematerialize a lot of the pharmaceutical industry or go, you could go on and on down that rabbit hole, right? But it has to be something big and it has to be something very material that would disrupt an entire industry. And so from the Bitcoin investing standpoint, it's, I think it's very clear that traditional finance, traditional banks... Uh, the whole financial landscape is going to be drastically repriced and dematerialized because of Bitcoin. So that that would be the starting point. And then I would say the next uh, piece to it that's really important is you've got to find the winners in this new space that is emerging that are only capitalized to call 10 to $40 million, but they're billion dollar, and I'm using dollars <laughs> to denominate this, they're <laughs> They're a billion dollar enterprises. And because you're going from a value of 20 million to a billion, that is something over a 10 year holding period that in and of itself is something that can outperform uh, Bitcoin's call it 40 percent hurdle rate. But then you add on top of that, if the if the business is cash flowing and making their free cash flows in Bitcoin on top of that growth rate, on top of an industry that's being dematerialized, now you have the recipe for something that could actually outperform Bitcoin's performance of call it 40% annualized. 